Hey ladies and gents, if you didn't read above, this is going to be my IMAX experience in Hall. I went to the IMAX NYC 2012 yesterday in New York, or NYC. It was amazing. I had a great time. Sorry you guys aren't seeing the video yesterday. When I got home, I was up since yesterday, 5 a.m. I got to the IMAX at like 7.30, 7.37, and the doors didn't open to 8.30. The line, I was like number 50 when I got there. That's how long the line was. I had the pleasure of meeting Naya 0302. We spent a good portion of the day shopping together. It was really, really fun. This is the band that they give you when you get there. Um, when I got home from the IMAX, I was supposed to do my video with my makeup still intact, but I was so exhausted that I literally ripped my lashes off, took off my clothes, and my dinner was ready for me to eat it, and I just fell asleep. So, like, I didn't wake up last night until, like, 10-something, and then when I woke up, I was just, like, I just kind of wiped my makeup off, took a shower, and went to bed. Like, I couldn't do it. So, today is today, and I don't have makeup on because the allergies, my allergies are on, like, a 10, so I just took an Allegra, so wish me luck. Um, I had a great time. If you have the opportunity to go to the IMAX in like LA or New York or wherever the IMAX are, go. It's definitely worth the discount. It's definitely worth the networking. It's definitely worth seeing different people. It's definitely worth, you know, seeing YouTube subscribers, YouTube gurus. And for me, the biggest reason why I went was for the shopping, to see different people or whatever. It was really, really fun. Um... The lines, I don't know, were ridiculous. Like, I wanted to get some NYX items, but the line was ridiculous. So I kind of just made sure that I got the top things that I wanted to go there for. And then I did take a class. I got to, I took a Steeler. I didn't take a class, but they were doing a, a demo with Steeler, and that was amazing. Um, I got to meet Eve Pearl, and she answered, like, my 7,000 questions. She is so nice. I got to meet David, who's the founder of OCC, who is extremely nice, like, oh my god, um, who else, I got to meet Julie G, I'm gonna see if I can insert pictures, it depends on how long my haul is, just to let you guys know, because I haven't done a whole video since, like, March or something, now that we're in April, just know I have, like, my next video is gonna be another haul video, because I have my Urban Decay friends and family haul, my Sephora friends and family haul, all the MAC collections that came out. Don't mind my hair. It's kind of crazy because I just came from the supermarket. But, all right. As soon as you walk in, they gave you this bag or whatever. I guess to store your things in. Well, first they give you your um, wristlet. I wanted to keep it on. Taking a shower with, with this, I thought everything was going to rub off, but it didn't. Then they give you this big bag. I can only do the first store that I went to, because that's the only one that I remember. I went to OCC first, the counter. The reason why, if you remember my video that I did from the makeup show, Pop Up Holiday, I bought a lip tars then. This time, I didn't buy that much because I'm going to a makeup show next month, and I'm, the discounts will probably be better. I only bought two lip tars and two pigments. I bought Narcissus, only because if you know my last name, you'll know why I bought this. <laughs> and... I bought, this is their newest one, it's called Belladonna, it's a pretty purple. Please don't ask me for swatches, oh gosh, alright, I might do swatches at the end. I bought a glitter in blue, and I bought a pure pigment in ultramarine blue. I'm so excited about those. If you guys have a chance to try o OCC, please do, like, it's so pigmented, and for me, lip tars, I know it says lip, but I've used their lip tars on, I kind of dabbed it on my face and used it as a blush. Um, I don't remember everywhere I went, but I'm going to just do, I don't even know, right. then I went to the, I know there's a pamphlet for this, but I don't remember. Alright, I don't remember the order that I went, but I bought, I went, Beauty So Clean was there, so they was handing out pamphlet, and I got the Cosmetic Sanitizer Mist, which is good for any makeup artist in between, you know, different people, as well as if you don't have separate makeup from yourself, you use within your kit. This is how you sanitize your eyeshadows, your powders, you could also, you could use it on clean foundations. Um, 
it's made, it's factored, but I think Alcone. So if you, can, they have a website as well, but they do have wipes that you can use for your lipsticks, which I ordered and I loved. Um, so I definitely, definitely, if you're a makeup artist, recommend this for your kit. But anyway, this was a great deal. Normally this is like $25, and I think I paid like $20 or $18. So this was a great deal. And Model in a Bottle was there, and they were giving out an amazing deal. It's like an amazing deal. I got two things. I got, of course, the famous Model in a Bottle. I think this is normally $25, and they were selling it for $18, if I remember. I got the original formula. I don't like the lavender scent one because I just don't like a scent lingering on my face, but... I, and to me, in my head, if you put lavender in it, it's probably perfumey, so then I don't want that on my face. So I just got the original formula. And I also got from Modern Obama, um, Model in the Bottle, Long Lasting Eyebrow Sealer. That's what I got from those two places. They were right next to each other, so I kind of got it. Oh no, they were right next to each other. Alright, another reason why I went to the IMAX, first was OCC, but another reason why I went to the IMAX, first of all, I don't remember his name, but his last name is like L London, I think. I can't remember his name, but the venture of Give Good Face was there, and anyone who knows me, I love him, I think he's gorgeous, he has a YouTube, if I remember, I'm going to put the link on the bottom, I, I just, I love him. So, I got two shirts, or whatever, and I'm going to order more on his website, I got one that says... Eat, sleep, make faces. And this is a makeup brush. This is too cute. And I've got another one that says it's not a magic wand. So just remember, makeup is just to enhance your beauty. It's not to make you look like Beyonce. Let's not go there. Then I went to, or I, our doll was there. So I got me some lashes, which I didn't really need, because you guys know I order lashes so often. But um, I have a problem. I couldn't stand still. Their deal was, it was 6 for 12 or 6 for 15. And with any purchase, you got a free lash grip duo. I mean, lash grip and adhesive, and I got it in dark. So I got some wispies. You guys know I love wispies. I think I got two wispies. Yeah, I got two wispies. I got what I normally would order. And I got three Demi Pixies, because you guys know I love Demi Pixies. And then I got runway lashes called Tyra. I've never used Tyra, and they look kind of interesting to me. So, you guys know me with my lashes. And then Julie G was there. You guys know I really buy nail polish because my nails are always done, but I do get pedicures if I buy nail polish. It's normally for my feet, but Julie G was there. And she's extremely nice. Like, it was ridiculous. Like, she was another person that spent a lot of time complimenting my makeup. Um, she's really, really nice. Like, it was kind of crazy how nice she was. Um, she was there promoting her collection with Jessie Girls. And I got Fierce and Fab. I got Bikini, which I think is a pretty color for the spring. It's like a coral, like a corally pink. And I got this, I don't know what color to call that. This one is 9 to 5. I don't know how to, if you guys could even see this. But it's called 9 to 5. Which is cool. Um, I guess I'll do this. I'll do my Inglox haul. Now, anybody who went knows that Inglox, NYX, had like the craziest booth. Like, the line was ridiculous. So I kind of went twice. <laughs> the first time I went, I got a Freedom System. Like, it was hard for me to even see the colors because I don't own anything from Inglots. And I knew that I need to go to Inglots anyway because I want to get their pro card. I didn't want to do too much. So what they were offering is the Freedom System for $50. So basically, you got the, um, you got the palette for free. Because normally the palette is $14 and the eyeshadows are $5 each. The Freedom System, their deal there was if you got a Freedom System, including the palette, it was $50. So normally the shadows are $5. So I got the one with $10. So this is the palette. Oh! So you already know it's magnetic. And this is the palette. So at the makeup show, I'm definitely going to get there, bro. 
Um, and I got 10 shadows. Uh. I got, this is gonna be tough. All right, I inverted the number, so I got a shadow I didn't even want, but whatever, I'll make it work. I got 453, which is like a, it's like a white color. Um, it's like a pearl. I got this one, which I'm excited about. It's a matte, it's a matte green. I got this color, which is uh, it's like a shimmery blue. Uh, this is how they normally come, like this. Uh, I got this red color, which is pretty. I got. You guys know I was going to get a purple because what's my favorite color? And this is a matte purple. If you hear the, um, the, this is a matte yellow. If you hear the vacuum, or the half is vacuuming, because we all have allergies right now, so. I got this matte teal. I guess I should have opened these. Tell me the same fire. I got this matte sky blue. I tried to get like all the colors of the rainbow and then the makeup show is not as crazy as this or so I'll just go to the Inglot store. I got a shimmery orange. I want to get one neutral color, even though I don't wear neutral, but I did want to get one. But I try to get every color of the rainbow. And I got this kind of rosy pink, and it's matte. And then, I wanted pigments or whatever. I went back, I got another, I went back to Ignite Glots again. I risked my life, literally. And I got two body pigments. This one is 121. Oh, I should have told you those numbers. It's in purple. If you can see it. It's not purple. It's like a magenta type purple. And then this one is in 156. It's like a royal blue. And I went to Stila. Stila was offering 40% um, off. So I got the In The Moment palette, it's part of their new palette line. Oh. Uh, comes with the palette, of course I got the purple one. And this, is the, uh, this is the color that comes in, if you can see it. And it comes with the eyeliner too, and it comes with the lookbook. Comes with the eyeliner. I'm trying to a smudge stick waterproof eyeliner in Letra. Oh gosh, I'm definitely gonna use this. Um, it came with two colors that are that are these colors didn't come out yet, so they were offering it first at the pro show. I mean at the trade show. Um, it's called a Sparkle Waterproof Liquid Liner. It's Sephora carries it, but doesn't carry these colors yet. I got it in Royal and Electric. And the reason why I got these colors was when they did the demo, he used it as a, as a shadow. So I'm excited about that. This is this color. And you guys know I'm going to get a purple. Because I'm, I'm going to try something now. I'm going to try it in purple too. So I'm excited about that. Then I got a custom color brush. Blush in self-adjusting pink. You guys see that? I hope you guys can see these things. 
Allegedly, it changes according to your pH balance. I see. Then I got a lip enamel lux gloss. Stila only offers this color at trade shows. Like you will never be able to pick up this color unless you go to the makeup show or uh, um or the IMAX. I got it in Giggle, which real Nicki Minaj is. Minaj, <laughs> whatever. And Jessie Girls was giving this away for free. It's a uh, Julie G nail polish in my private palace. A little lip palette, I mean an eyeshadow palette, a cream shadow palette. We all know I'm not going to use none of this. So if anybody wants it, let me know. And the eye dust. And it doesn't say the color, but it's like a, it looks like vanilla pigment actually. Oh gosh, my tongue. And... I got like 12 Isadora eyeshadows. These are just some of the ones I got. So that was my eye mask haul. I don't even, while I was there and I was carrying all the bags, it seemed like a lot. But then when I got home, I was just like, I didn't buy a lot of stuff. And maybe it's just me. But anyway, this is my eye mask haul. Stay tuned because I have a Mac, like a huge Mac Sephora. Yeah, I kind of went bananas and I haven't been recording. So it's going to seem like a lot. But just know I bought it over time. Smooches.